Have you ever been in a situation where you're following through with what the Lord has shown you to do? You're doing the right thing, even in the right way. And maybe there's an expectation that because you're doing the right thing in the right way, that everything in your day will go your way because you're following the Lord. Well, look at Exodus chapter 5 with me. In this chapter today, we see that Moses comes before Pharaoh for the first time to give God's message to let his people go. Moses does the right thing. He follows God in obedience, even shares to the T what God has him to say. And look at how Pharaoh responds. Pharaoh replied in verse four, Moses and Aaron, why are you distracting the people from their tasks? Get back to work. Look, there are many of your people in the land and you are stopping them from their work. Verse six, it says that same day, Pharaoh sent this order to the Egyptian slave drivers and to the Israelite foremen. Do not supply any more straw for making bricks. Make the people get it themselves, but still require them to make the same number of bricks as before. Don't reduce their quota. They are lazy. That's why they're crying out. Let us go and offer sacrifices to our God. Load them down with more work. Make them sweat. That will teach them to listen to lies. Interesting story today that as Moses follows God in his will, things don't necessarily get easier, they get more difficult. And often so in our lives, when we follow after God, we must make sure and ensure that our perspective is set rightly from his vantage point, not ours. See, when you follow God, oftentimes you'll experience resistance. I often had a Bible professor say to me when I was in Bible college that, Neil, if you're receiving no opposition from the enemy, it might be because you're headed in the same direction as the enemy. See, oftentimes in our lives, opportunity plus opposition equals the will of God. And that's what's happening here in Exodus chapter five. Moses is doing the right thing, but he doesn't receive immediate results. As you read in chapter five, even at the end, Moses is wondering what's going on. He goes to the Lord and says, why have you brought all this trouble on your own people? See, here's the thing. Today, I wanna encourage you, trust the Lord, follow him in obedience, trust him with the results. Know that he's working his will in his way, in his time. And as human beings, we don't see from the vantage point of God. He's working all things together. So today, if things are difficult, don't give up in well-doing. Trust him, continue. For as you do, you will reap at the right time. That's what Paul encouraged the New Testament church to do. And that's my encouragement to you today.